I used to hate lead code. I'd open a problem, read it four times and feel nothing. It felt like every question was from another universe. Meanwhile, other people solve it in two minutes. I had watched tutorials, memorized tricks. Still stuck, I thought I was the problem. Turns out, the problem wasn't me. The problem was I didn't know what to look for. Once I learned how to spot the patterns, everything clicked. In this video, I am going to show you the 4 patterns that changed how I solve problems forever. The first pattern we will be doing is the hash map or you can say frequency counter problem. You will find this pattern useful when we have some keywords like frequency, the, the count or compare the characters. So in this kind of questions, the hash map is used and in this valid anagram question, what we have to do, we have to compare the two strings and return if both string contains the same characters in the same count so this is a straightforward question what we will do we will implement two hash maps and uh, append the strings in those hash maps and compare the hash maps if the hash maps are equal then it means the strings have same letters and same count so first i will create two hash maps map one and map two we just have to put the values of these two strings in the hash map so or we will use the for each loop and for character c in string s put the values in map 1 so map 1 of c plus plus it will put the character and its corresponding count in the map 1 so we'll do same for the second string also so now we have put the values in the maps so we just have to return if the maps are equal so map, we have to use the double equals for comparing if they are equal with map 2 let's just run it and see if i have made any mistake no it ran so i think it is solved yes nice so the pattern number two is the famous two pointers pattern this pattern is used in all kind of questions and you can think of the keywords like in place uh, without extra space or you have to scan something from two different directions or they can be from the same direction but at a varying speed so in these cases you can use two pointers in this remove element question what we have to remove the, all the occurrences of a value from the array and we have to do it in place and return the size of new array. as we are doing the two pointer approach we will get two iterators in i and another one will be j which will be in the for loop so we have to save the values which are not equal to the val variable we will first check if the value is not equal to val so and if it is not equal what we will do we will store that value at the index i and then append the value of i it will store the value which are not equal to the variable in the i then append the i it will keep doing it till there are no such values left which are not equal and the value of i will be the size of array so let's run this yeah it ran so it's kind of straightforward i think there will be no errors so yeah it is done so the pattern number three the sliding window patterns this is a kind of intuitive pattern and there are two main cases of this pattern one where the window size is fixed and one where the window is either shrinking or expanding. So when we have to scan consecutive values in an array or we use uh, the sliding window pattern. So for this question longest substring without repeating characters. We have given a string and we have to scan that string. So we get a longest substring which has no duplicates for example in the string a b c a a repeats so we can't take a so this longest substring will be a b c so we have to return the length of that longest substring there should be no duplicates we have to keep track of characters which are already seen or not seen we will use a set or the set the set stores and distinct value of elements set and it will store characters right as it is a string and we will say its name is c c so there will be two variables which we will be initializing one will be for the maximum length which we will update if we get a length greater than the maximum length and one will and one will be the left iterator l starting from the zeroth index and now we'll run a for loop with iterator r which will be the right hand iterator we have to check if the character is a duplicate first if it is a duplicate we can't take it if we use the count of the set and if it returns something 
it means that it is in the set so it is a duplicate i will run a while loop if it is already pre present that is it is duplicate then we will move the first we will remove the left hand side part of the window for that we will use the erase function of uh, we increase the value of l by 1 if it is not a duplicate then what we just have to expand the window first we have to insert the new into the set we'll use the insert function and after the insert function what we'll do for if we have to calculate the length for the length of a window is r that is right point minus left plus 1 so we have to compare uh, is max l greater or the size of this window is greater so it will assign the value which is greater return the max length i think this should work it worked <laughs> i was right in my logic for the last pattern it is binary search on answer the binary search pattern is used to find answer of the answer in this particular question first bad version we don't necessarily have to use the actual binary search to search something we have we have to use the concept of binary search how we split the array in half and move to the left or right part based on some condition that kind of part is used in this so that is why i'm saying it is a pattern so in this question we are given a number n and it means that there are one to n versions of the particular product and we have to find out which version is the first bad version assume that the version 6 is bad version it can be like that that at first bad version was 4 which caused all consecutive versions to be bad so we have to find the first bad version so they have given us an api which we can say that it is a function which returns boolean if the version is bad or not so that is given to us so first of all as i said it is a binary search type concept so we will use two iterators one l for right oh, sorry <laughs> one l for left part and one r for right part so we will start from one actually as it is written in the question from one to n so we'll say r is equal to n so we'll use a variable to store the result now as the binary search algorithm works l is less than equal to r then we have to find the mid formula you can say is l plus r minus l by 2 if the version at mid is bad then it means that either mid is the first bad version that is our result or the version before mid was first bad version right because all the consecutive versions become bad so we have to do that condition if then what me it means that it is either mid or left to the mid so we will move to the right iterator to the mid minus one we will store the value of mid as the result because mid can be the bad version itself and for the else part else part it means that if the mid is not the bad version it means the bad version is definitely not on the left so if it was on the left mid will automatically become bad but it means that it is on the right side so we will move the left iterator to the to the mid plus one and then we just have to return the result the result okay so let's run this it should work i guess oh i was thinking why there are no errors in today's question we just failed to initialize the mid so it caused an error i think it will run directly now so there were like two raised to power 31 minus one ends and the time complexity of this thing is off login as it is based on binary search so so it did not have issue with the TLE that is time limit actually and we were able to solve this problem these four questions one from each pattern change the way i look at lead code forever i stopped panicking when i see new problems because now i try to find the patterns and then code follows and that's what separates stuck beginners from consistent solvers right this was episode 5 of zero to hired one pattern at a time see you next time